Hi everyone, this is Mario with the Dub Shop. Uh, today I'm going to do another tutorial. This one is going to be adding a uh, an auxiliary oil temp sensor to your micro squirt. Um, we will use a Tuner Studio again. This uh, I already have a test project set up. So what we want to do is go to Tools, Add Custom Channel Wizard. Uh, keep uh, we'll keep it as simple. We're going to use the input channel as ADC7 this time instead of 6. We'll call this one oil underscore temperature. And this one's going to be in degrees Fahrenheit. This time, uh, instead of a linear transformation, um, I've made a, a custom any file uh, for this temperature sensor. What we're going to be using is a um, the 350 degree fluid temp sensor available in my store and I'll link that down in the down in the description. So here's the custom any file for the oil temp sensor. So we'll open that up. As you can see it's loaded up. Go next. Uh, we'll do the gauge template again. So this one will be oil underscore temp oil temp units this will be in degrees Fahrenheit we already have our custom channels made from the previous sensor so I will select custom channels this is going to be oil temperature our minimum temp will be zero maximum will be 260 low critical I'm going to call this 60 degrees Low warning, 120. Uh, high warning, I'm going to set this to 200. The oil temp's starting to get hot. High critical, I'll set that to 220 uh, with one decimal place. To get this into our data log, I will add, click the add data log field, and this will get called oil temp as well that is going to be one decimal place. The rest of the stuff you can leave blank, it's, on, it's optional. So I'll finish that. I will so I'll replace the air fuel ratio gauge, custom channel, oil temp, within a degree of my coolant temp, so I would say that's pretty good. Uh, and then we will test it on a data log. So go over here to graphing and logging. We will start a log. Scale up our tuning menu here. And then we will find oil temp. I should have looked previously. Here it is, oil temp. So we'll select that. And something else that it can go up against. Say manifold temperature. I'll heat the sensor. There's our input. And there the temperature's falling. It's a pretty simple sensor to do. Um, you do have to add a pull-up resistor to 5 volts. That's probably the hardest part on this one. And there you have it. There's uh, our second tutorial on adding a gauge for an auxiliary temperature sender. Thanks again, and until next time, have a great day.